Water utilities depend on their meters to account for the water they treat and distribute. If that meter is faulty or inaccurate, it means lost revenue for the utility. When a compound meter in a vault is connected, it's, it's connected to a valve that has ductile iron pipe in, in most cases, at least in our case. And there's going to be buildup on that pipe. There's going to be um, rusty, rusty products that attach to that pipe. And when those parts become loose, uh, they, they are actually what go in and disturb the accuracy of a compound meter. Here in McKinney, we, we just don't, don't have the staff to go out and properly maintain a compound meter. Moving parts start to lose accuracy over time. And if the utility doesn't have the manpower or the resources to go out and test these meters and find out how accurate they are and make repairs when needed, well, that's lost revenue over time. The Octave is a solid state water meter used for commercial and industrial applications. It has no moving parts. We're sending a sound wave through the meter. We're gonna measure one going with the direction of the flow, and we're gonna time how fast that beam travels across the pipe. Then we're gonna shoot another beam the opposite direction against the flow and measure the time of it. If you have no flow in your pipe, then both of those beams measure at the same exact time. But as the velocity of water increases, then one of them speeds up, the one going with the flow, and the one going against the flow slows down. So you just take the difference in time of those two to determine how fast water is moving. The greater the distance, the greater the flow. It has no moving parts, so there's nothing to maintenance on it. With the ability not having to go out and change out meters and, and replace them, you know, with the non-moving part feature of it, the guys are free to do other things, uh, you know, plant-wise and otherwise. I don't have to go out and work on a part that's not going to work. I don't have to worry about something that's going to get it stuck in it. I don't have to worry about something that's going to wear out. One of McKinney's biggest customers is a food processing facility. Installing an octave meter there helped the city account for some lost water. They, they were averaging like 300,000 gallons in a month, and now they're at 500,000 gallons in a month. 200,000 gallons difference at a commercial property in McKinney is roughly $1,200 in a month. When you look at the two inch through four inch, these meters actually start registering water at a 16th of a gallon per minute. And our 10 and our 12 inch are gonna go up to 5,500 gallons per minute. So whatever application they need, whatever uh, consumption the customer is using, we have a meter to fit that application. We're always looking at trying to capture every drop. And if you look at it at household use on a running toilet, we have toilets uh, that have run and cost customers 6,000 gallons in a day. So if I have one of those in one business where there's a, you know, a large compound meter um, with the octave, I'm gonna get that one toilet in the middle of the night when they're not there. The, the low rate of pickup for the octaves allows us to, to gain more revenue from that and, and we can track more water loss you know, in our system that way. One of our most notable customers is the FedEx facility, which is the largest FedEx facility outside of the Memphis facility. And uh, they're one of our largest users. I have to report to the state every year, you know, we have to use our pumping numbers versus our, what we're being delivered. And when they installed the octave meter, our numbers came together where they should be. The increased revenue from our FedEx facility was from $800 to $2,200 in the first month alone. The meter's light weight provides additional benefits and savings in both manpower and equipment. It's light enough that a person can pick it up with one hand. Now as opposed to the meter they might be pulling out, it might take two men just to pick this thing up and put it into the back of a vehicle. We've eliminated taking out backhoes. Um, one person can get in there and move it around. Uh, the weight of it's easy to pick up with anybody, you know. All our employees are required to lift 75 pounds, so they're perfectly capable of moving any of four inch or six inch meter in the vault by themselves. One man can basically hold the thing up while the other man bolts it up. We were looking for something that would go in a smaller vault area, or a smaller can, size meter can, and a single headed type meter to replace our compound meters. When a customer comes in here and they're looking at, you know, pinching pennies on, you know, right off the bat, uh, not having to have the vault, you know, saves them tens of thousands of dollars in some applications. So with the octaves short size and, and the need for it not to have the strainer, you know, that cuts down on a lot of money. 
Commercial meters really, though they're a small majority of the utilities water meter population, they are the greatest revenue gainers. These are the ones that bring most utilities their most money. In the applications that we've put them in, we're seeing a range between 10 and 20 percent gain and from what we had in there. 